Hey guys, welcome back to Mom's Cherished Home. Today, I'm going to just tell you a little story. Now, <clears throat> I don't know if any of y'all are old enough to remember Kellogg's Croutettes, but I grew up on those in the 70s and 80s and even the 90s we had those. I'm not even sure when they quit making them. I think it was around 2004, somewhere around there. But anyway, I've sadly missed those croutettes, the Kellogg's croutettes. I'm not even sure why they took them off the market. It was totally insane of Kellogg's, but here we go. I have been searching and searching and searching for the right spice measurements to make the Kellogg's croutettes. And for the last five years or so, I've concocted this recipe and I've found several recipes online. I've seen one on YouTube that was very similar to what I'm making. And I thought, let me give it a try. And voila, it's as close to the Kellogg's croutettes as you can get. And I'm also gonna show you the kind of croutons that I use um, to mimic those croutons. Hey, and I'm back, so here's the thing. Um, for several years, I used Pepperidge Farm, the regular style, but their um, stuffing mix was like pretty much just like breadcrumbs, big breadcrumbs. And I was really disappointed with that. And I've tried several different ones that Mrs. Cubberson's had some out. They don't sell them here anymore. So it's super frustrating to try to find the cubes. Now, I have finally found these Pepperidge Farm country style cube stuffing. And let me just tell you a little secret, which is funny and not so funny, but the stores around here have these. Well, one store had these, but you couldn't find them in all the stores. So I kind of ran around until I found some. And the one store that I went to, which was a huge Kroger, they only had like six bags. And I got these like a week or so ago. So I've kind of been hoarding them. But anyway, I got three bags. You only need two for this recipe. And once I get this mix, um, mixed up, that's what you're gonna need with this and whatever else you like to mix with yours. With my croutettes, I mixed celery and onion, the spice mix, and just the croutons, the stuffing, the cubes, AKA dressing, however you wanna pronounce that. And that's what I use. So I'm gonna put that back because I already had it packed away and I'm gonna put it back. I just wanted to show y'all for the video's sake, and then we're gonna get started mixing up these spices. Okay, so I'm gonna hit, go ahead and measure this out. I've got everything open, so it looks kinda mismangled, whatever. But we're gonna use rubbed sage, and you want two teaspoons of sage. This smells good already, y'all. Just the sage, I love the smell. All right, so there's that. We'll go ahead and put the lid back on this. That there. The next thing we're going to need is one half teaspoon of ground thyme. So make sure it's ground, you don't want the leaves. And you want one half teaspoon of that. Go ahead and put the lid back on that. And then the next one is one teaspoon of marjoram. And it says ground marjoram, but I couldn't find any. So I'm using the leaves and I will just smash this up with my hands just like this. And that does a pretty good job. And then the next one is half of a teaspoon of rosemary leaves. And again, you're gonna rub that, you're gonna rub these leaves through your hands to just there we go. There we are. And the next one, very important, is the nutmeg. You want half a teaspoon of nutmeg. It gives it like a spicy edge with the Kellogg's Crew Tuts had. And then um, two other things, the parsley flakes we need one tablespoon of parsley flakes. I'm gonna make it a heaping tablespoon. All right. And 
And then last but not least, our celery salt. And it calls for celery flakes. The, I kind of adapted this recipe from another recipe, but I use the celery salt. It works just as well. As a matter of fact, it might even be better. And you want one teaspoon of the celery salt. All right, and it's heaping. So then the next thing is salt. We're gonna add a teaspoon of salt, but I use this light salt. So that'll be just perfect. And I'm not gonna put as much. I'm gonna put like three fourths of a teaspoon. We're trying to cut back on our salt. So then you're just gonna mix this together. And this goes, this will probably do about two servings or two big pans of stuffing. So I'm gonna do one pan of stuffing, so I'm probably gonna use half of this mix. So, and that is our Kellogg Croutette stuffing spice mix and I think y'all are really going to enjoy this if you're all old school like me and you enjoy those Kellogg's croutettes as much as I did. My mom started making those many many years ago and I carried on that tradition until Kellogg's pulled it off the shelf and all I can tell you is this is the closest thing that you can get with using the Pepperidge Farm cubed stuffing if you don't have that in your area whatever cubed stuffing that you can find along with the spice mix and what I do again you mix your stuffing the way you want to mix it but I use butter celery and onion and I also use chicken stock so I use like a chicken stock chicken bouillon um, whatever works for you or however you want to make it but this is the Kellogg croutette spice mix I think y'all are really going to enjoy it. Thanks so much for tuning in once again to Mom's Cherished Home. If you haven't done so already, hit like on our um, video and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thanks so much for watching.